Good evening and thanks for being part of the Red Raider Nation on a Thursday. Texas Tech basketball back on the court after having a week off. The shots were off for both teams for most of the first half of this one. Tigers shoot 29% in the first half. Red Raiders just 31%. You know, when you're struggling this much, you just want to call in sick like our colleague Nick up in Kansas City. Hope you feel better, buddy. All right, one of the few times something does come of a miss in this one. Chris Clark, the rebound, one of his 12 on the... Day dishes it to Jemias Ramsey for the only easy bucket of the night, it seemed like. Tech up 8-1 to one then. Davide Moretti, one of the few bright spots shooting. The three and the foul, the four-point play puts Texas Tech up 18-7. to seven. They were up 27-22 at the break. Second half, Tigers keeping it close. Jalen Washington makes it a two-point game with that bucket there. Moretti goes to work again, though, scores eight straight to give the Red Raiders an eight-point lead. He leads the way with 19 points, a little under 10 left in the game now. Terrence Shannon, the step-back three, pushes the lead to 16. He scores 13, as does Ramsey. Kyler Edwards adds 10. Not pretty, but it's a win, 72-57, the final. You know, I did like our poise. Um, we, we found ourselves in a battle, right? You know, they hit that three at the end of the halftime. We're down five. We haven't really been in this situation yet, right? So I agree with Morrow. A lot of positives come from this. I would much rather learn lessons after a victory than after a defeat. Uh, these people that say, you know, your best lessons come after losses, I respectfully disagree. You know, intelligent people can win through uh, success. I mean, can learn through success, too. Well, not all good news today. The NCAA denying the transfer waiver of Joel and Tomway, so he'll have to sit out this season. And Tomway was one of five UNLV players to leave the program after last season. And Tomway was the only player to not have his waiver granted. Chris Beard commenting on that after tonight's game. You gotta be real careful how I say this. Um, probably not the best time uh, for me to talk about it, but I would just say that I'm really disappointed. Uh, for Joel, I'm, I'm basically floored by it, sick stomach uh, all day long. I uh, just feel terrible for him. You know, it's not it's not my place to put the case out there in the public light, but I would tell you that he had a more than legitimate case on why he, I think, transferred from his first institution out of his control. And I, I really don't understand this. Meanwhile, it's the Lady Raiders' turn tomorrow. Marlene Stallings Club hosts Northwestern State. Tomorrow night at 7 at the USA and postseason run for Tom Stone's Texas Tech soccer team continues tomorrow as well at 3 in the afternoon against Michigan in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. With a win, the 15th ranked Red Raiders will advance to the Sweet 16 for just the second time in program history. They're strong, classic Big Ten team, but very technical. They got pace in the right places. So, you know, it's kind of the matchup you would expect in the second round. They can beat most teams in this tournament. Um, just, just like we can. So I think it's going to be a really good game. We got a lot of respect for them. Their coach has done a fantastic job since she took over. So, uh, you know, they're legit. It's going to be a good game. Hopefully uh, all is well for Tom Stone. Come, don't want to call in sick tomorrow. No. You, know, you got to win tomorrow. And if you do, for God's sake, Man, don't. Don't reply all. Don't reply all. No. To the whole company. Yeah. That happened. Yeah, it did. But it was the best thing Hundreds, ever. Hundreds, <laughs> thousands of people. Got we'll it. be back. Oh, my God. Love you, Nick. Love you, Nick. Uh.